Hello YouTube, Elder Draco here. I said that I was going to be doing a second video after my Jungle Book 3D Blu-ray review. And here it is. This is the top 5 films that should have been released from Disney on 3D Blu-ray. And top 5 films that Disney did release on 3D that should not have been released on 3D. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Um, I've been struggling with Disney 3Ds uh, since they've come out and since I've started collecting them. Which was only about a year or two ago. Basically... Um, <coughs> there's been a 50-50 margin of great and terrible 3D Blu-rays that Disney's released. Um, now, with most 3D films, you already know it's going to be a hit and a miss because not everyone does 3D the same way. Some films don't get transitioned into 3D as good as they should. You know, so there are quite a few failures. Um... This is just going to be, like I said, top five films from Disney that I loved growing up and that I would love to see and think that they'd make a great job of doing a 3D release of. And the top five that I've actually watched that should not have been released on 3D. Now, just to clarify, the five that shouldn't have been released on 3D is not because they're bad movies. I still like these movies. Uh, there are some that I have problems with. But it's just because maybe the 3D didn't work. And like I said before in previous videos, I don't look at 3D films to find the 3D. I want, a I want a film that when I've got them glasses on, I feel like I'm behind the camera watching it be shot. That's what I want. So that's what I look for. I don't just kind of like go like, oh, that bit's in 3D. Like, that bit's in 2D. That bit's in 3D. I go like, is he running at me? Or is he just on the screen? So that is what this is about. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go and do the normal thing that I that I, I want to do, and I'm gonna go through the top five films that should not have been released first, instead of going through the ones that should have been. Because, in fairness, the list that should have been is much better than the list that shouldn't have been. So I'm pretty sure people are gonna enjoy that. Uh, basically, if you haven't watched my Jungle Book for 3D Blu-ray review or the unboxing yet, I will put the links down below. Anyway, let's get into this video now. The first one. Is people aren't. I'm hoping people agree with me here, and that is Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. Now, it's the worst out of the entire quadrilogy. I know they're making more, but it's the worst one out of them. And it was their first Pirates of the Caribbean 3D Blu ray release. And it had like one great 3D scene, which is when she throws the sword through the door, and then that's it. The rest of the film is just plain 2D. Um, I did enjoy the film because it's still Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow. But without that, it's just a very under-budgeted Disney pirate movie. Uh, I would much rather go back and watch the DVD version of Hook. Because that is a much more interesting pirate movie. Or the original Pirates of the Caribbean. So, you know, I mean, that's I, I think that that one should not have had its release. It's just, I think that film would have been just okay on standard Blu-ray even DVD is still pretty good. That, that didn't need the 3D transition. Uh, the second one I know a lot of people are going to agree with me on. I definitely know this because I've spoken to like 20 other people who have all said the same thing. And that is Maleficent. The 3D was absolutely terrible for that movie. As I said in my previous video, uh, Maleficent wasn't a great film anyway. Maleficent was was an okay film to watch if you didn't really watch Sleeping Beauty. But it was not the best they could have done. And I, I, uh, yeah, the 3D for Maleficent was just plain ass done. It was like there was nothing. There weren't even a sit. And I'm sorry, but for a film that's got such amazing CGI at the beginning, nice hill views, nice water, you know, CGI creatures from fairy tale lands, you think that that's a kind of film that's going to be, boom, straight in your face, coming out the screen, beautiful. But it was not. It was just flat. The 3D was unnoticeable. So that one should not have been put in 3D. And I know that people kind of go, oh, well, you won't know if it's going to be good in 3D until you do it. They should have watched this. They should have actually watched it. And if anyone did watch the 3D of that before they released it, they said, this looks incredible. No, I know so. I know there are two different types of 3D. There is pop-out and there is just pure on landscape. And I know that landscape is is, is, is um, where, it's not like landscape, but it's like where you, where you can see back into it. So it's more like a 3D image on the inside of the TV. Instead of on the out. I like that. Right? Where there's scenes where there's mountains. I mean in Everest. Everest is the best example of that. Okay. In depth 3D is what it's called. So like the mountain. It's like. There's like snow and hills here. 
mountain in the middle and then snow and hills behind. Perfect. Because the mountain is dead centre in the middle of the TV and you get like the camera angle where it pans around and it's like looking down above a mountain and just looking. So I like that. Whereas this had nothing. It was like watching the DVD quality with sunglasses on. I did not appreciate it. So that film should not have been released. Third Disney 3D film that should not have been released is John Carter. Now, John Carter is a like under budgeted version of Star Wars. And anyone who says that it's not, it, it is in a way. I mean, fair enough, you get the whole old town uh, guy teleports onto this planet. And, you know, it's all just like it's weird. Now he can do this weird space jumps and okay it was a bad enough film as it was i mean it was okay it had its aspects 3d guys really i mean it was so bad i mean it was terrible i mean we're spending about 20 to 30 odd pounds in the uk and americans spend more in a way they can spend up to about 40 to 50 dollars on a 3d release when it comes out and then we spend this much money we take it home and it's not even worth watching. We might as well for about twenty to fifteen pounds cheaper, or oh yeah, fair enough. In the UK, it's only five pounds cheaper to buy the standard Blu-ray, or ten pounds cheaper to buy the DVD. I would much rather buy the DVD than buy another three D film that comes out like that, because in the end, it is a waste of our money. We could buy a totally different film with that money. Uh, and I know it's our fault because we won't know if it's bad or not until we purchase it. But you should not sell it. If the 3D is not 3D, then you should not sell it. So it's kind of disappointing. Then, I'm the, the next two, I'm really upset about. Because I wanted the 3D to these movies to be perfect. And they weren't. The, the, the last one on this list broke my heart. Because it was a film that I love. And I speak to on many levels. I'm not going to talk about why. Um... Maybe definitely not maybe on this channel there might be a video at some point where i do like a kind of biography my life story bit i probably won't but i know everyone does that on their channel at some point which is like my, the reasons why thing but this this one is, is not that one this one's brave beautiful film great graphics great design beautiful colors beautiful story yet their 3d was just as flat as john carter you got like one scene where she th she fires the arrow. And I wouldn't mind, but that scene has two parts where it's coming this way and then it goes that way. <clears throat> as it comes this way, you kind of go, oh, that looks a bit nearer than it should. And then as soon as it goes that way, it's like, oh. 3D gone. That's two seconds out of nearly a two and a half to three hour movie that we got anything from. That I, I spent eighteen ninety nine on that and I I bought it twice because someone said, Oh, certain copies have different versions and I was like, What do you mean certain copies? Surely if a film's been released on 3D it's all gonna look the same. Apparently not. Apparently, um depends on when it gets put onto the onto Blu ray, that it, it, it does a different transition. I'm sorry, but that's <laughs> absolute bollocks. That doesn't happen. I bought Three copies of Brave because of that rumour. All the same. I bought two copies of Nightmare Before Christmas. Both the same. I also bought two copies of Ant-Man. Weirdly enough, Ant-Man, it, it did look better the second time. But I think that was because I went such a long time without watching Ant-Man 3D that it just looked awesome the second time. <laughs> that might be the reason. But yeah, Brave was a letdown. I really enjoyed that movie and I was like, yes, I can't wait to watch it on 3D. And I was watching it and I was like, oh, wow. Like, where's the 3D gone? I was really let down by it. So I, I'm, that, that's on the list of shouldn't. Now, this last movie is the one that breaks my heart. And the fact to even put this on the list as a should not have been released on 3D makes me sad. Because this was a film that I had so much hype for to be on 3D. And that is Big Hero 6. I mean, that film should have been a great 3D film. That film has everything from a brilliant story to beautiful quality imagery uh, to great colourful scenes 
So great action sequences that should have been perfect 3D. And I'm talking Avatar Avengers 3D. I mean pure, just full out there. 100% everything, in-depth, pop out, everything. None. It was the same as Brave. Two or three seconds of a tiny bit of 3D and then nothing. That really broke my heart because I was waiting months. There was no release date for months on that film. And as soon as it got released on 3D, I hunted down three Morrisons, two Asdas to get it. Finally got it, I brought it home after all of that, and then there was nothing. So that film, these are the top five films that should not have been released on 3D. If you've seen these films on 3D and they look okay to you, please comment down below like if they did or not. But if you agree with me that them films that did, did not have great 3D and they could have been improved, also comment below. I'm welcome to hear anyone else's opinions and thoughts on those movies. Now, this is the bit that we've probably all been waiting for, especially me, because this is the list that's going to make everyone happy now. Right? There's also a little surprise question at the end of this video, like I said in my previous one. So look out for that. But this is the bit that we've all been waiting for. So... I'm going to do the first movie on this list last because the first movie is just an obvious definite should have been done already. Let's go through these ones. My first uh, uh, actual opinion one should have been The Hunchback of Notre Dame. My freaking gosh. That film was colourful. Basically, it was the Hunchback of Notre Dame version of Beauty and the Beast. Colourful, brilliant, beautiful, great cast, great characters, scenes that would look incredible in 3D. And I will name one scene that everyone will agree that if it was on 3D would blow everyone's freaking socks off. When he is standing on top of the church with Esmeralda in his arms shouting sanctuary, holding her in the air. Looking down at that view would be incredible. It would be like w watching the walk with Joseph Gordon-Levitt. when He looks down off the wires. It would look phenomenal when down at the bottom of the church is all the fire. Seeing that fire come up in 3D alongside the church would look incredible. There is so much. Uh, even the scene, okay, so it's a horrible scene, but even when he's getting the fruit lobbed at him, to see that in a kind of 3D way would be incredible. That film, on, I tell you what, if that film ever does get a 3D release, oh, and I pray it does, I pray it does, that will probably be like the most treasured 3D film that I own. Due to it is my favourite Disney film and it speaks on so many levels to someone like me. And I probably can already guess why, but it, it does. It's one of the best Disney films in my heart. The second one I do agree would look phenomenal on 3D is Aladdin. Come on. The magic carpet ride when he's running through the streets, right? And, you know, uh, all the genie scenes. Come on. Who does not want to see a 3D Robin Williams genie pop out their screen? Come on. That would just be amazing. Oh, that would look incredible. And I've, I've not watched the Aladdin Blu-ray. I don't own the Aladdin Blu-ray. And I probably will at some point. Everyone says that the transfer from DVD to Blu-ray for Aladdin is beautiful. It looks absolutely phenomenal. If that's the case, a 3D one would look amazing then. To see all of this come out, I mean, it would be amazing. So, and I know I've said amazing quite a lot. I'm sorry, I apologise. But when I get hyped about films, I do talk a lot about the same shit. But yeah, so I agree that Aladdin should be a 3D release for the future. Third on that list is my second favourite Disney film of all time, Tarzan. I shouldn't have to say much about Tarzan because everyone should already know why that film would be amazing in 3D. Swinging through the jungle, the fight scenes between the animals, the fight scene between the hunters. When he meets Jane in the tree, when it's raining. Come on! Oh, that film would look so beautiful. That would probably be my, my most viewed 3D film. Hunchback would be my favourite and my most treasured, but I wouldn't watch that quite a lot. But Tarzan, the original animated Disney Tarzan, I would watch a lot on 3D, because that would just be awesome. Okay, next up... I've don't know if you guys will agree, because as I said, Disney's had a hit and miss ratio. And this one might fall under that category, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this was an okay list, listed one, which was A Bug's Life. Only reason I agree is because when you watch Ant-Man and he shrinks, but it's in 3D, you feel his size. You don't feel your size when you watch that because of the perception filter in your head. 
it kind of goes like, oh, well, he's that small. He sees everything's really big, so you kind of feel like you're with him. I'd like to see that from a bug's life view, especially with the big bird that comes out. I mean, seeing that big bird pop his beak out through the screen and try and peck you, that would be amazing. That would be an awesome 3D moment. I would love to see that, and I would enjoy to see that. So I think that definitely does make it in the top five. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to mention the film's title, and I'm going to mention just one scene, because the entire film would be good on 3D, but the one scene everyone knows... This is the last and final Disney film that should have had and should definitely get in the future a 3D release. Wally. In space with the fire extinguisher. Who would not pay to go back to a cinema and watch Wally in 3D IMAX or take it home to your house? And watch it in the comfort of your living room on a padded sofa with a nice cold drink. Hmm? Wally 3D would be awesome. It would be probably one of the most bought 3D Disney films of all time. Oh, it's incredible. It's it's another it's yet again, I think that's actually my second favourite Pixar movie. First is obviously Toy Story. So I mean, Wally would have, I mean, oh, that film is just based on, if you look at it, it looks like that should have been in 3D already. The fact that it wasn't is annoying. You've got the whole second list of movies. You could have put some of these into 3D, instead you put them once. Maybe Disney should start trying to transfer all their best films into 3D so we can get better releases for the future. Alright, so that, it's not a long video, just wanted to get this one off my chest. <clears throat> so that's that's my top five of what shouldn't have been and should have been now this is the question i'm going to ask my subscribers viewers anyone else who just wants to come by this video anyone who is a 3d blu-ray collector even if you're just a blu-ray collector but want to collect 3d in the future do you guys think now before i actually ask i should say there's been rumours that this film is getting a 3D release, meant to have been by the end of last year. Now it's meant to be by the end of this year. I don't think it's going to happen, and I think the reason it's not going to happen is because not many people are talking about it anymore. Here we go. I want everyone to talk about this. Should The Incredibles get a 3D release? Because I say, and I'm going to put in big letters here, yes, it should. The Incredibles is like what Fantastic Four should have been three movies ago. Oh, and there's not one part in that movie. There's not one scene in that movie that would not look incredible in 3D. Not one scene. Every scene would steal it. Okay. Oh, it, it's, yeah. No, I want you guys to tell me down below in the comments whether or not you agree that the movies I said should be, the movies I said that shouldn't, should not have existed. And whether or not Incredibles does deserve a 3D release. Anyway, that is the end of this video. I don't think I've got another video coming the end of... Oh! <clears throat> I tell a lie. I was going to say that there's not another video coming this week. I'm wrong. I've got a July-August collection update. Yeah. Yeah. And it should be coming on the end of August, which I think is tomorrow. Uh, or it should be in the beginning of August. Um, well, beginning of September. But then it might be a bit tricky. So I am going to try and schedule it properly for August end. Because that makes sense. Anyway, YouTube. It's the end of this video. I hope you did like it. Please subscribe to my channel for future videos. And don't forget to strike the like. And comment down below your opinions on 3D movies in general. What is your favourite 3D film of all time? Anyway, YouTube, I will see you later, and thank you for watching.